Hi, I'm LNGX, and welcome to my Apex Legends Clash and Troubleshooting Guide. With the game only being a month old, it's expected that there will be a number of technical issues and bugs within the game. This guide aims to help you save time by sharing tips and tricks that you can try so you end up spending more time enjoying the game. Keep in mind there are almost an infinite possible number of PC builds and installed software which someone could have and could be impacting the game on the PC. So part of this technical troubleshooting guide is to list a number of things that may work for you. Some people, their problems could be fixed after just trying one tip. For others, it may take several tips before you notice improvements. And this is not a exact science, but a process of trial and error. The first thing to check is if your system meets the game minimum requirements. Although you can probably run the game in worse builds, you're almost guaranteed to have to deal with issues such as freezing and the game crashing. EA have confirmed the game cannot run on AMD Phenom processors and old Intel processors. And the only way to get around this reliably is to upgrade your CPU. Thereafter, the next thing to try is to ensure you have the latest Windows drivers. This should specifically help with the error there is a problem with your game setup. If updating your Windows drivers do not fix this problem, another thing you can try is assuming you have installed Windows at the standard location. Go to C Drive Windows System 32 and look for a file called d3d compiler 43.dll and delete it. Thereafter go and download the DirectX web installer from the following address. Run the file and it should detect and download the missing file and any other relevant files. The next thing to ensure is you have the latest graphics drivers for NVIDIA and AMD users. The drivers can be found at the following locations, which I have linked. The latest driver is 419.35, and this contains specific fixes for the XGI error device hung which was specific to the RTX range of cards. Some NVIDIA users have also found that by going back to an older driver, they have been more stable. If you experience the error which I've linked, it's worth trying driver 417.71. Others have also reported we rolling back to 417.35 have stopped them crashing. Remember, if you do re-roll, use the advanced and then clean installation options. The next thing to try, which has helped numerous users, is to cap your frame rate. You can do this by going to Origin Client Game Library, right clicking on Apex, Game Properties Advanced, and put in the command line plus FPS underscore max space 75. Others have found success using other numbers such as 100, 90, 60, etc. This step has been found to improve stability for a lot of players, so it's worth trying different numbers if you do not notice an improvement straight away. 
Many users have found problems which are linked to the anti-cheat software and this can be fixed by turning the priority to lowering the task manager. This can be done by launching the game, entering the task manager by control delete, go to the details tab, find easy anti-cheat program and right click and set the priority to low. If this tip does help you, this will need to be repeated every time you start the game until Future Packs fixes this problem. Also, if the easy anti-cheat surface ever fails, always allow it to restart. Further, if you're encountering the legal instruction error message, please remember to report this to easy anti-cheat using the form at the link below. If an error comes up, which sounds like it's related to graphics or textures, what you can do is try lowering the graphical settings within your game settings menu. It's recommended you set everything to low and have anything optional disabled. If you do see your stability increased, you can enable things one setting at a time to establish where your issue lies. A lot of people have found that by lowering the overclock on their CPU and GPU, this has made the game a lot more stable. For some, this improvement did not improve until they were completely disabled, and this includes factory overclocks. If you are using overclocking, this will be specific to the software or the bias you have used to overclock it. Many have found that running the program compatibility troubleshooter has helped them. This is done by simply right clicking on the desktop shortcut icon and running the troubleshooter compatibility there before launching. Bring up the box detecting issues. This allows you to change to try recommended settings and to troubleshoot programs which select options based on the problems you experience. If you are using an AMD FX6000 series CPU, there have been a number of problems linked to Windows Audio. If you do have this CPU, to fix this, open and run Apex Legends as normal. Thereafter, go to Windows Services by searching Services using the Windows Home button. Find the Windows Auto Endpoint Builder and stop this. It should be near the bottom. Thereafter, start Windows Audio, which is right above Auto Endpoint Builder. The next thing you can try is to repair the game in the Origin client. In case the game files have been corrupted or gone missing in some way, by opening the Origin client, you can right click on the game and select Repair. Some users have found switching from full screen to Windows mode or borderless mode has helped them. This is system specific and numerous users have found they were more stable playing in a specific view mode, so it's worth trying different views. The next thing to try is to close any programs which may have an overlay. This includes the origin client and any unnecessary programs which are running in the background 
as they could be conflicting with the game. This will include common programs like Discord, which has the overlay, GeForce Experience, TeamSpeak, FPS Counter, MSI Afterburner, EVGA Precision, Shadowplay, Fraps, OBS Studio, Razer Chroma Kit, etc. If you experience cloud syncing issues, there's an easy fix simply by opening the Origin client. Click on the Origin tab in the top menu. Click Application Settings. Find the Install and Saves tab and click on the button next to Saves. Many have found by turning off G-Sync on the video cards or FreeSync on AMD cards that their game was much more stable. In addition, for NVIDIA cards, some have reported increased stability by changing the power management settings in the NVIDIA control panel. Do this by selecting the Manage 3D settings, then Power Management mode, and, and select Prefer Maximum Performance. Another setting worth trying to adjust is the ambient occlusion within the same area. Try turning this to off. And if this does not help, try turning this to on. Finally, many have found that uninstalling the GeForce experience has helped them and this can be done through the uninstalls programs in the control panel. The next thing to try is reducing the texture streaming option within the game settings. Also, reducing the maximum VRAM usage to 6 gigabytes, regardless of how much memory you have in the streaming texture option has helped many. The next thing to try is to install the game onto an internal hard drive if you are using an external hard drive to play the game. Also, it's recommended you unplug any external hard drives that are not being used. Others have found installing the game onto a different internal hard drive to what they have Windows installed has also helped improve and made the game more stable. Next, you can try and check the firewall settings. You can do this by going into Control Panel, System and Security, Windows Defender Firewall, and Loud Apps. Make sure you add and check both boxes for Origin Launcher Program, as some have reported this has not been done by default. If you are using a different software for your firewall, you can do this through that. The next thing to try is to right click the speaker icon in the system tray, then choose sound, select playback and disable any output device that you are not using. Don't forget to right click to show all disconnected and deactivated devices. Some have reported toggling your language within the origin client has helped them. You can do this by right clicking the game panel in origin, choose game properties, then advanced launch options. Change the game language, for example, to Polish, save the game and update. Once this completes, try swapping back to your language and check again. If you are getting the following error, 
launch error access is denied. This problem relates to RGB controllers. To fix this, simply uninstall all lighting software from your computer until a future patch fixes this issue. The next thing to try is adjusting some window settings. Some have found that allowing Windows to manage the page file has helped and you can do this by adjusting this option in performance options and changing the, the virtual memory settings. Some have also found that by having the page file and the game installed on the same drive has helped them. This is obviously an issue if you have multiple hard drives installed within your system. However, there have also been reports that some have been successful by having the game on a different drive to the page file. So this is a process of trial and error. Some have found that by changing the window power settings, the game has become a lot more stable. So it is recommended you always ensure you are using the high performance setting in the power options, which can be accessed through the control panel, then hardware and sound, power options. The next thing to try is disabling any full screen optimizations you may have turned on. This is found in the compatibility section by right clicking the game sh shortcut icon. Some users have also reported that the game was much more stable after removing torrenting software from their system. If you do have any such software installed, it is recommended you install it. This can be done through the install programs in the control panel. That's the end of my crashing troubleshooting guide. Hopefully it has helped improve or eliminate the problems you are having with the game. If you are having any other issues, please let me know in the comments below and I'll recommend some solutions for you. Also, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks and bye for now.